I guess to Blair. Today we got a game in the new premium American cruiser. It's a tier seven, of course, and the name Rochester. We got Einstein on there. He's my preferred American heavy cruiser commander. If you don't have him, uh, you're free to play. I would go with Kincaid. Get the turret traverse uh, as dialed in as you can. And that's going to, of course, be influenced by slot one uh, ingenious perk on Kincaid. So that's my recommendation. Put Norm Scott on the lights. Kincaid on the heavies, and you'll be all set. All right, so here we got the Rochester, kind of a Baltimore clone. In fact, we're going to be comparing it directly to the Baltimore uh, at some point during this video. And it's not a huge difference, to be honest with you. Now, I like the Baltimore quite a bit. What did I just put it on my Tier 7 uh, Cruiser rank? It's probably about middle of the pack. Some of you guys responded saying, come on, man, Baltimore top dog. And, you know, you catch me in the right mood, I'd... Be inclined to agree with you. Just depends on the day. Uh, Rochester, very similar. Okay, now the main difference is going to be the AA, actually. And I did uh, include the AA stats earlier. If you missed it, you can go back and just pause it. Just a uh, brief glimpse at the differences. But the Baltimore, pretty good at the AA overall. But the Rochester, uh, two sets of guns. Both of them dialed in at six kilometers. And pretty heavy damage. You're forced to take the defensive AA consumable, which we're going to see in action right now. This is one of the super anti-air builds as far as I can tell. And you guys know I love it. Like, I, I'm on the personal <laughs> vendetta against these carriers at this point in time. They just want to bomb me. I just want to shoot them down. All right, so we got the consumable going. And you can see we just slaughter the entire squadron. We did have a little bit of help with another cruiser near us, but a very strong uh, defensive air uh, package on this thing. Uh, another thing that's very strong in this, the AP. You see that vicious shot we had there? Uh, very similar to the Baltimore. Now, if you're not familiar with the Baltimore, or maybe you don't know that the Baltimore is wicked AP, it does. It's one of the nastiest AP shots in the game. Rochester, I can't tell a difference between the shots, personally. Uh, maybe there's a tweak here or there. I'm not a deep dive uh, numbers guy, as some of the other guys are. You guys know that. But... I go by feel, I don't feel a difference between the Baltimore and the Rochester. High, floaty shots, ponderous, yes, long time to the target. Look at that, 13.8, almost a 9 second travel time to the target. Oof. All right, not the easiest shells to aim in the game, but if you get them on target, especially against cruisers, oof, you are in serious trouble. Do not want the Rochester shooting at you for any sort of extended period. Now, the HE attack, very nice as well. All right, so if you're... Finding yourself against angled targets, uh, especially against battleships. You know, if you've got angled cruisers, maybe we can punch through the armor. Uh, but, you know, the HE, pretty good, okay? And now the numbers in terms of the shell damage, the fire damage between the Baltimore, the uh, Rochester, the same. So I'm going to jump right in here. What's the main differences? And actually it is within... It's not actually the ship stats itself. Usually there's tweaks here and there between the gun performance or the maneuverability or whatever. There's a little bit here and there, but it actually boils down to the consumables package and the AA, which we talked about. Baltimore, king of the consumables when we're going head-to-head -head with the Rochester. You have the choice of the sonar or a defensive AA consumable, which we have standard on this ship. You can see that uh, anti-air consumable. Now, that dramatically enhances the anti-air characteristics of any ship that utilizes it, but we don't have that option. In fact, you can see here on this screen, we have the anti-air consumable and the sonar. So those aren't interchangeable like the Baltimore. Now, the Baltimore also has a radar. And there's also another option behind the radar. I think it's a fire plane. I, don't, I didn't even mark it down because you're a radar cruiser. You got the radar. Go ahead and put the radar on, right? One of the most powerful things in the game. Uh, so we don't have an option for a radar in the Rochester. Major drawback compared to the Baltimore. And by the way... Uh, the heel on the Baltimore is also standard, and it's a better heel than what we have here. What's the consumables we got on this thing, Rochester? Uh, we have defensive AA, always, sonar, always, and then the choice between heel or smoke. And, uh, you know, we have the smoke in this game. The smoke's not that great, though, because the smoke fire penalty on the Rochester, 9.1 kilometers, right? If I'm sitting in the smoke, anything's within 9.1 kilometers of me, and it's got a line of sight, I fire, boom. Well, we're spotted. And that's not a lot of room to work with. Smoke's kind of a defensive consumable. 
and we usually want to have a little bit of range to work with, but not available on uh, this ship. Other than that, a couple of tweaks, couple, couple of tweaks here, a couple of tweaks there. Uh, the main ones that stand out: reload, Baltimore, just shy of a full second better on the Baltimore, and the rudder shift dramatically better on the Baltimore uh, by about three seconds. So, honestly. On paper, across the board, the Baltimore seems to be the better uh, ship, except for the AA, which really feels solid on this thing. Okay, so <laughs> if you guys are ever get to the point where I'm at, where you decide, okay, my new mission in life is to punish the carriers, okay, I think you're going to want the Rochester in your arsenal. Aside from that, like if you're... Looking for a major justification. Rochester, I mean, it's a, it's a dang good ship, right? It slaps, it punches. Um, but other than that, if you can grind out the Baltimore, you got more or less the same thing, all right? So the main difference comes down to what the ship's focused on. Rochester more focused on anti-air. And frankly, the Baltimore that I'm comparing this to is my Azura Lane. All Baltimore, my standard Baltimore, I don't even actually have set up for an anti-air build yet. Probably will happen after um, <laughs> getting focused in some match in at some point in time. But currently, you know, I would focus it even more on uh, like a reload, uh, certainly not the range, but reload, powerful build, and maybe some more mobility or uh, accuracy, and maybe in slot one. So you can set up the Baltimore in different uh, configurations, but I feel like if you're going to get the Rochester, that at that point you really should be leaning into the anti-air aspect of it. So maybe you have a different commander build or just a different build for this particular ship. But I feel like if you're going to get the Rochester, uh, that's the main strength vis-a-vis -vis the Baltimore. Even if you don't want to set up uh, for an or anti-air, sure, you can get a great uh, heavy cruiser build, but at the same time, you can also just grind out the Baltimore. So that would be my prescription there. Uh, jumping in this game here, we got a good start here, uh, about 51,000. We got A, we got D, they got B, they got C. So you can see most of our team swinging through to the north. Uh, where are we going to go? Well, we're going the opposite direction, of course. We want to play defensive. And, by the way, we don't want to clump up. We don't want to be in the black hole situation. And we want to create uh, right angles against our team. That's the whole point of this game. You want to be shooting ships in the side. How do you do that? Well, you got to have distance between you and your team. Okay, so we're pushing in here. We were getting spotted. Uh, not sure why. Well, we are sure why. There was a destroyer within range, but we don't know exactly where it is. So rather than going left to right, we go uh, right to left. We turn around here. We want to block the North Carolina, and then we can deduce, okay, where is this destroyer? If we drop spot, then we know that he no longer has a line of sight on us, and we're safe. And there we go. We drop spot there. And this thing that's been hosing us down, okay, well, we're moving into range here. We're about to find out what this thing is. And we've been picked up again on our line of sight. So we need to be keeping that in mind. Fletcher. Okay. Well, I think the carrier spotted him. Great job by the carrier honing in on those destroyers. Again, we do not have the radar on the Rochester, which is a major disadvantage. Uh, Baltimore, 9 kilometer radar, 30 second duration. Very powerful uh, tool that can be game changing. Rochester, we don't have that. We don't have the option to have that. So... Yeah, you know, I mean, that's definitely a drawback compared to the Baltimore. But again, maybe we're going to be using the Rochester with more of a focus on the AA. I think that's the way to do it. So trying to get those destroyers off the board. But keep in mind and keep an eye on the map here. What we're trying to do is defend A and D. Why is that? Well, we're up. We're up 130 points. And judging by the game situation, I'm not seeing a likely huge swing of uh, ships, right? We got one battleship on red, two on blue. We got two cruisers here, one on red. Okay, so we got the muscle. They got the destroyers. Who's stopping the destroyers from doing what they're doing? That's right. I'm doing that job here. They want to get on D. Not a chance. I'm going to spot them. I'm going to blast them, and we're going to take them out of the game. So I'm not worried about the score. A lot of games you'll see where I'm a little bit more uh, panicked in terms of what the scoring is. Not the case here. In fact, we have a tight grip on this game here. So the remaining battleship on the ropes, and he's about to go down. Fletcher, I'm trying to snag him here. He does drop spot. He's got the smoke going. Planes, uh, the carrier actually doing a pretty good job, at least in this juncture, trying to keep these destroyers lit, spotting them for me. I'm trying to do my job, trying to shoot them and get them off the board, because that really is 
uh, their last chance. They don't have any more, you know, muscle really. They've lost one of the destroyers now. It looks like Fletcher went down. And at this point, we're trying to wrap this game up. So you'll see how we go about doing that. Uh, Rochester, interested in hearing from you guys because I've seen a lot of them out here. So I know a lot of you guys are picking this up. What's the recommendations? If you're going to ask me for the, my recommendation, I'd say good ship, yes. Um, but figure out what your objectives are. Do you want like a really solid anti-air cruiser? Are you going to lean in that build? Then I would say, yeah, go ahead and do it. You still have the potent cannons on this thing. Uh, we've not seen a lot of citadels in this game, but I've played several games with this thing where we're seeing 10 citadels, 12 citadels, 15 citadels. I haven't had any major rippers of games, to be honest with you. This is probably top three or four in terms of damage. Um, but playmaking ability is there, right? We got a lot of tools. We don't have the radar, but we do have the ability to move around the board. Of course, we don't have any torpedoes. Uh, but overall, Rochester for me, I'm, I'm thinking, well, if I'm in the anti-air mood, yeah, I'll play it. But if I'm in the, I want to slap things around, I want to be kind of controlling the game as a cruiser... I think in that situation, I'd probably be more inclined to go with the Baltimore. So I am interested in hearing what you guys have to say that have been playing the ship. Uh, offense, definitely there in terms of cannons, but uh, in terms of consumables and playmaking utility, I don't know how it compares to the Baltimore. Still trying to make up my mind here. Uh, we got three caps now. They got one. Of course, we've already uh, moved on to the cap that they have. And we've already driven the destroyer off, so it's not even contested. We've now in the process of capturing this base here and here's another situation if we got a radar boom this guy would be dead already trying to get the sonar back up of course we're moving into position here um for me the biggest drawback of the rochester is i think one of its selling points is the smoke and again because of that 9.1 kilometer smoke fire detection which means if i fire this the guns anything that is aligned inside of me ignores the smoke uh, within 9.1 kilometers, that's kind of a big deal, you know, kind of removes the utility of that smoke, and in fact, when I was looking at the build here, and close your eyes, guys, uh, this game's about to end here right before, uh, you know, we're going to hit a thousand points before we look like fools eating torps, no, 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 okay, well, that didn't happen, but I mean, the main selling point seems to be the smoke, or at least one of the main ones, and I feel like it's just not as, uh, as, it's, it's not as much utility with that smoke due to the um, smoke fire penalty. Compared to something like the British lights, sure, their lower caliber guns make sense. But those, I, off the top of my head, I think the detection in the smoke's about 8 kilometers. All right, so you got a little more wiggle room. Here we're adding another kilometer in there. I don't know. In about the 10 to 15 games I've played in this thing so far, I just keep getting spotted in the smoke when I'm trying to use it. So... It doesn't seem as good, at least on paper anyways. So anyway, I like it overall. Rochester, that's a look for you guys. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. Lots of World of Warships come for all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Love day from me, and we'll see you all later. Peace.